Hi everyone. Um, today we are trying to achieve. Uh, we're gonna try to achieve a five kilometer range of FPV flight with the Immersion RC 600 milliwatt uh, transmitter. And uh, the aircraft that I'm gonna be using on this uh, flight is the AR Wing 900 mm. Um, uh, 900 mm wing and uh, the parts are I'm gonna be listing in the description it's gonna be like 35 uh, amp Spidex uh, BL Heli 32 um, ESC and um, for this long it's almost long long range 5 kilometers for 5.8 giga 4.8 uh, gigahertz is, uh, you know, considered the long range. 5.8 5 doesn't go too far, as we all know that. And um, so, <clears throat> the battery that I'm using on this flight is the 500, uh, 5000 milliamp hour multi star battery three cells uh, it's a lithium polymer battery and um, I don't have any amp e OSD on this flight because my flight controller doesn't have any um, um, amp OSD in it and I'm guessing that I'm pulling on the full throttle I'm pulling about you know uh, 25 amps on the full throttle uh, and um, but when I'm up high in the sky I don't have to keep the full throttle on and I back down to about 25% and I'm still cruising around 40 kilometers an hour and I'm I, I guess I will uh, I'm, I'm gonna be using about six amps um, normally you know, on cruising uh, speed and uh, because I've done, I haven't done, I've only done about 20 minutes flight uh, with this battery, with this setup. And, um, and when I landed, I still had 50% uh, 50 percent, uh, 50 percent, uh, of the battery left. And so um, I could have gone about 40 minutes on the total flight because my uh, motor is high KV uh, 2206 size uh, 2300 KV motor and I'm uh, running it uh, with the propeller Gemfen uh, 5 by 4.5 uh, it's, uh, it's not a three blade it's only by blade two blades propeller uh, because I want the motor not to suffer a lot of uh, not to suffer a lot because um, uh, this plane is kind of heavy now because um, um, I've put a lot of things in it uh, I'll check someone is calling me now okay so at the moment uh, I'm just checking the return to home uh, function just to make sure everything is working properly when I'm far off so I don't lose the plan so I guess it's working properly now yeah? so I'm heading off to my goal five kilometer range destination and um, at the moment I'm heading north and the wind is blowing from my left uh, coming from the west about six kilometers an hour and relatively very calm day today it's uh, very nice for this kind of flight and uh, it is actually very enjoyable it is uh, very nice at the moment cruising at 46 kilometers an hour and 2.3 kilometers away from home uh, destination and Currently 13 satellites locked in, so it's very good. The GPS GPS is going to work properly, uh, that's for sure. And uh, 
let's see how we go. Um, the altitude is kind of high, I have to drop it down a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to keep the altitude a little bit higher because I didn't want to lose, I don't want to lose any signal uh, along the way uh, because 5.8 GHz is not really uh, uh, reliable on the um, uh, long range uh, flights, that's what I heard and it doesn't take you too far. Uh, but if I'm a, uh, with my current setup, I'm hoping that I can achieve five kilometers, uh, five kilometers of range. And um, uh, as you can see, I'm almost 3.5 kilometers away, and the video signal is pretty pretty good. It's flyable. I can see a little bit of a little bit of grains, uh, but it I still can see very clearly. It's not uh, horrible. Uh, it is uh, with this kind of uh, video is still uh, enjoyable flight can be achieved and uh, so other question is how would I know how much battery would I left in my uh, flight so I'm keeping an eye on the cell voltage uh, currently it's showing 3.87 I've been flying about 15 packs uh, with this battery and when I land at about 3.7 uh, volts per cell, I still have uh, about 40% of the battery left uh, because um, when I pull the throttle back, uh, even if it's 3.7, when I uh, pull the throttle back to zero and the cell battery goes back up to uh, about 3.9 or 3.8 6 something like that and so currently shows uh, now it shows 3.84 volts so I'm guessing I have used about say 25% of the battery so I still have a lot of juice left in the battery and um, I'm guessing with this battery I can go up to 40 minutes uh, if it's a calm day like this but if it's very windy and gusty so you have to keep the throttle up all the time so it's gonna shorten your flight time okay at the moment it's uh, I'm flying manual horizon and uh, I've got full control of the aircraft so it's almost five kilometers away now. It's 4.959697. Uh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's five kilometers away from home position. But I just chickened out at this position because I haven't gone any. That's the maximum uh, distance I've done so far. And next uh, flight, I'll try to achieve about seven kilometers. So I have to learn and trust my equipment before I can push it into the extreme limits so I'm coming back home now and that's all right it's 52 kilometers an hour my speed is and everything looks good the video signal is strong yeah it's all good so enjoy the rest of the flights thank you Okay, I'm back now, uh, a little bit of grain we can see on the FPV uh, uh, um, signals, uh, but pretty much looks very good, a uh, very nice view down below, very good view, uh, enjoyable, uh, there is a reservoir on the left and uh, some kind of factory down below, right below the airplane and some parts of the reservoir are also visible uh, and some factories 
at a far distance about one kilometer away so after passing uh, the factories I will be I think uh, will be very close to the uh, launch ground so even if I lose the airplane in this area uh, I think it will be uh, not very hard to recover the airplane I'm not sure if there is any roads going in this area but I can see some factories and houses around so there must be a way to get in there and I'm not flying too close to the ground because there there are many power lines going high power lines so I don't want the FPV signal get disrupted by the powerful power lines you can see on the HD footage I'm getting I'm passing overhead um, you can see there's a little a little bit of bump here and there I think uh, some wind gust coming and going uh, relatively very calm day but uh, sometimes the wind gets pushing the plane here and there. Uh, I haven't checked the wind gust, uh, how much wind gust at the moment there is, but uh, it looks pretty, uh, uh, pretty bad with the wind gust. But uh, the wind itself is not very. It's only six kilometers. Uh, I think. From 1.7 kilometers, I can see the the launch ground. It's yeah, I can see the launch ground. So once I get close to the launch ground, um, I will loiter a little bit here and there just to drain out the battery uh, as much as possible because I want to see uh, how many minutes I'm gonna get from this flight. I'll try my best but if it gets boring I'm gonna land and because it's not much so fun it's not a lot of fun flying around the launch ground so as long as you do the long range it is enjoyable but if you're flying very close to to yourself um, I myself don't enjoy it so at the moment I'm getting close to the uh, landing field Feels like a real airplane getting close to the landing field. Uh, losing altitude slowly. Still 45 kilometers an hour. 560 meters away from the landing ground. And 110 meters altitude. My battery voltage is 3.84 so with 3.84 I have figured out I'm, I've only used about probably 50% of the battery capacity so I've done about 15 uh, about like 13 minutes flight so I could go uh, double that but I, if, if I'm very careful, I can push it up to 40 minutes flight, I'm sure. So, I did not land, I just turned back to uh, fly a bit more to drain the battery out a little bit more. Uh, I do some circles here and there, and then when I feel right, I'm gonna uh, lose altitude gradually to, uh, and get ready for the landing. Okay. So here, turning left towards the west, and back towards the south. 
where's the home position and the land ground is so 340 meters okay I'm gonna turn right again and I'm gonna go again further north and I'm gonna come back low and gradually lose the altitude and prepare for landing just to uh, simulate the real scenario the, the real uh, landing scenario almost 750 meters away from the launch area Fifty meters altitude. Now turning east and back towards the east. Going back to south, and now I'm gonna gradually lose uh, altitude and uh, get a soft touchdown. So at the moment 600 meters away from the okay so I'm flying east I'm gonna come back uh, when I feel uh, the right situation when it's the right situation the right moment At the moment, about 90 meters altitude. Battery voltage showing 3.65. At the moment, I have about 50% of the throttle and I've gained altitude about 100 meters. Now, this is the time uh, to simulate the real uh, full size airplane landing. As you can see, the way the aircraft is moving, uh, bumping here and there due to the wind gust. So, okay, 75 meters altitude, gradually losing, you can see. Uh, and I'm trying to keep the speed uh, relatively uh, constant so okay 30 meters 10 meters 6 4 2 meters now time to land okay thank you okay ladies and gentlemen uh, that was a successful flight, 5 kilometers. Uh, the next mission would be 7 kilometers. And um, I will be using my home night helical antenna, uh, 16 dBi. And I'm gonna uh, upload, that once the, upload that once the flight is done. Thank you.